Okay, this is an old time tune called Squirrel Hunters in the key of A. It's like an A modal tune with a, the, uh, the off chord is just a G, so you're just going A and G. It was a little like this. Squirrel Hunters. It's a dandy little tune for flat footing or clogging or for jamming with. It's not real complicated. It's a great tune to get a bunch of fiddle players, banjos, guitars to sit around and play along with. It's got a great drive, great bow drive, and uh, definitely one of my uh, favorites to, to play. So let's just do some single strings first. With uh, of course, after you do your taters here, okay, and then you're gonna do. Okay, so that's the whole first part of the tune. Uh, and you can tell it's a big drone tune also with the, your A and E ringing through that whole first part. Uh, the first phrase anyhow, when you do... I do a lot of unisons on uh, fourth finger A to make that double E note. It has a real nice open sound there. the ending on this. You can go down, uh, as it's, I think it was written to go down to a D chord there, but it sounds like a little discordy when the uh, guitars are just playing an A and you're going down to a D. We're in, uh, and that's right in this spot here. Just fiddle alone, it sounds fine. You, know, you just want to make sure your chords don't clash, that's all. Um, let's take a little bit slower. So that's the way you can end it with the A chord. Right there. Uh, let me explain a little bit what I'm doing when you, you do the break in the middle where you're going. That's just a, a D scale right up. Then you do that little uh, phrase. You're jumping, you're hitting your notes and hitting an open A in between.
there. Then back to the... So, and you can kind of actually rock off your open D there a little bit, uh, because that's the G chord that's happening with the guitar, so you can do... So that's the ending in the going to the key of A there. And if you did it the other way, right back to that unison again. Now the second part of the tune goes like this. You can do it a couple different ways. I just kind of rock off an open A here. And hitting my second, third finger on my E string. Again, has some real nice drones there with that. This is kind of tricky. So you can see it's just a fun little tune to be able to play the Squirrel Hunters. So let's try to play it uh, up to speed and to give you a close up of the fingering. Squirrel Hunters.